Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my 1.4 Skyblock. And I'm going to try something here. Yeah, let's get all this crap cleaned up here. Oh, yep. I think that was a crab. So... Um, yeah, I've got, I don't have money trough. That's one of the reasons I'm doing this, actually. All right. So. Oh, hallow torch. Well, I forgot about those. Figured it'd be handy just to have it over here. Wow. What is a snail? Cool. Uh, that's my fourth snail, so. All right, well, let's, uh, I'm going to work on a bit of a statue farm, I think. And, yeah, go ahead and give me this back. So I've got a blood zombie statue. I've actually got a lot of statues that can spawn creatures, but uh figured these would be probably about the easiest to deal with. There we go. And let's go ahead and... They did not stand a chance, did they? All right, let's go ahead, though, and one, two, three. We're going to actuate those blocks. Alright, so the reason I needed my piggy bank actually is my grand design is. Uh here we'll just do that, All right? So go ahead and on blue. Roll one run some wires out to here. And then on red. I can do statues like that. I wonder if I could hyperspeed this, actually. I might be able to. I uh, don't think I'm going to, though, with the design I'm going with. Half second timer. And I don't have a way of triggering those actuators, do I? Didn't even think about the fact that I was going to need like a switch or a lever. Uh, let's go, let's go lever. All right. You know what? I'm going to buy a few of these. A lot of wiring. Uh, yeah, that should work for now, I think. Oh, got a pylon right here. Perfect. I wish we get about that pylon because, well, so close to the other one, it's just like, okay. <laughs> I never bother using it. And uh, we decided to go with lever. Oh, you can't mount levers vertically on walls. That's right. No, not that, that. Hey, that'll work. All right. Take the timer on. And we're getting stuff.
Oh, hey, we got a geode. Uh, and blue jellyfish banner. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and put that down. We'll put this down as well. Because why not? And let's go ahead. We're going to go. We're going to run three colors of wire to those statues. And... There we go. All right. So now, is this going to do it? Doesn't really look like it does it. There's that. There is that guy. And now we just kind of wait. All right, well, a bit of a bust. Um, because I was trying to get a pirate map to spawn in due to these guys. And... Hey, wow. Not bad. Yeah, statue spawned mobs cannot drop a pirate map. I... Bit unfortunate on that one. Hmm. Well then, uh, let's see. It's just after, just after midnight. It looks like well, almost one o'clock now. And let's go ahead and sell off some of the stuff here. Uh, we got six hooks out of it, though. That's not bad. So... Bit of a bust, though. Didn't work like I was hoping it would. Like, hooray, we got a bunch of glow sticks and banners and... Granite, which the granite's not bad to have, really. But, yeah. Alright, well, first things first, then. Um, get some, I need some regular stone, too. That was my accents. Okay. And... I guess let's go over to the hallow area. I can work on that a bit. What I think I'm going to do is the next night... Oh! Ice Elemental! Hello! Oh yeah, kill that thing. Eh, just money, but... Oh, they will spawn there. I wonder if a uh, ice elemental will. And let's just do a solid layer down here of pearl stone, right? I know it's not solid yet, but we're basically we're salting it at this point. We are in the cavern layer, so we should not have any problems with the enemies spawning or anything like that. You know, hallowed enemies anyway. We just need enough of. Come on, Snail, get out of here. Uh, we just need enough of this to uh, convert. I did not bring enough stone. Hmm. Oh, that's a slight bit fortunate now, isn't it? There we go. 
go ahead and hang a banner though and might as well hang you as well and now while this is doing its thing let's go ahead and can we get up far enough nope dang it Don't quite have the flight time to go all the way up. That's why I'm do doing this. Just dropping ropes. This was problematic with the spiders because they were so busy bouncing around because they were in midair that the pixies would just like land on my head. Granted, they would keep falling, but... I'm still taking a lot of hits. And the number's still decreasing, so we're still laying robe. Like another, I think I dropped like a total of like close to 400 blocks or something like that. I mean, just kind of an insane amount of. Same amount of blocks to, to go down, but I wanted it to line up and I wanted it to be definitely in the cavern layer, so yeah, it's, it's worth it, at least from the, you know, the aesthetic point of view. And I can probably start dropping myself down here. Oh, hey, cool. And down we go. And unfortunately, we are still not a hallow found. Of course, it also does have to be like 300 blocks to make it a hallow. I think I started off with, what was it, like 60 pearl stone? And like 100 something stones. Yeah, I didn't even bring enough to, to get this done. All right, so get that stuff put away. That can go there for now. Just grab a bunch of this here. And it's here, right? One of these. That way, it's probably not going to be a, a naturally occurring blood moon tonight. But that way I'll be able to actually trigger it. Well, you do something about the wizard eye. It's kind of dark in there still. And I've only killed 29 cockneal beetles, huh? Kill the unicorn. Thank you. And boom, here we go. Did not want at that level there. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up four blocks. All right. So that way I can... Rock Golem. Oh, look at that. Thousand health. 18 stone blocks. I want those guys in the statue, like, early on. Hey, Chaos Elemental. Oh, 
These rock golems, they, uh, they drop a good amount of gold, don't they? Ah, uh, that... Well, the top island isn't symmetrical either, so... And... Nothing else, at least we've got a uh, another place we can farm up some of the stuff. Some of the, the drops and whatnot. I think a worm is down there. And I can't kill it, because I've got the book in my inventory. And I don't have any gravity blocks to drop on it. Oh, hey! Boomy Maze. Um, ah, the yo-yo glove. I don't plan on using it, but I didn't have it yet. And I just thought of something. I can just do that. <laughs> Get rid of the worm that way. Get him out of here. Uh, where did that... There it is. That is a bit of a downside with this arrangement. My minions are all up there. And they're not on the same level I am, so. If anything happens, uh, yeah, I'm on my own. There we go, and... Right, and I think this is how a lot of it is going to go. Whoop. Come on. But, uh, nothing else. I'm going to go get the uh, Skeleton Merchant to despawn. I'm going to drop some more rope. I'm going to do it three wide. At least three wide. And, uh, It'll give it time to, you know, to spread. And I can farm up unicorn horns while I'm up here, it looks like. All right, well, it's 5.30 at night now, and if I stand towards the middle, we're in a hell of biome. And we're getting souls of light. Guys, what are you doing under the area? Yep. Ah, oh, we rattles Magoo spawned in. Dang it. Yeah, I'll buy a format C, I guess. And I mean, we've gotten some stuff. Six souls of light, though. That's not bad. Not for as tiny as this little farm is, so. And do the limitations of minions and solve blocks and all that. I'm already thinking of ways to improve this. It's going to take a little bit of time and... I would say it's going to take a lot of money, but I've got money now, so. Alright, so, ow. We are up to eight souls of light. Alright, there's probably some stuff over this way. Got a godly rally. And we'll just uh, head on out of here. So, keep the banners. 
Put that away, I guess. And the Helitorch can go in there too. There, this is all stuff to sell. And it is now nighttime. So I'm going to see this out. I'm gonna head over to here. I'm gonna pop a bloody tear. And get a possessed armor banner. Okay, cool. Let's try this whole fishing thing, too. Oh, hello. I don't even know what that was, but uh, I fished it up out of the water. What is that? Zombie merman. Okay. buckets. Like by toss, does it mean I have to do that? Okay. Kind of cool. Oh, hi. Blood eel, huh? Yeah, it's like a hyperspeed wyvern. God, oh my god, yep. Uh, we did get some pad banner too, it looks like. And got another jellyfish banner. Uh, looks like we didn't really get anything out of that, did we? Hello. Hemoglobin shark, huh? Five thousand health. Okay. Oh god, I'm gonna die if I'm not careful here. Yep, I just died. Emo goblin. Fun. Um, I don't think I got any pirate maps out of any of that, so. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Got one. Looks like my chum is still active, too. You can still see it kind of floating on the water there. guy. Something happened here. Oh, it's another blood eel. Okay. Nope. There we go. Hey, seven chum buckets. Cool. Kill a bunch of stuff in the water. Let's go Hoover up all the drops. Okay. 
And... Got a trout. <laughs> Same time I got the banners. I was like, the hell did I just get? And... Actually, I have an idea, though. If I come all the way over to here... I can make sashimi out of tuna. And I can eat some of that. And that'll at least give me a little bit of a stat increase. So. There we go. Right after I make sashimi, a shark dropped a shrimp po' boy. And oh, another zombie merman. Okay, oh, the... rapid blood rain bow. Oh, really? Is that it? That uh, yeah. Another sawtooth shark. Okay. Still have not gotten a swordfish out of the ocean. I've gotten the reaver shark. I've gotten two sawtooth now. Oh! Yeah, it was like a little fish of Cthulhu or something. Okay, we got like two minutes left here. Another undead vampire. The chum caster. 25% power. And what else did it say there? Three stands to finish up enemies during a blood moon. Alright. Another bloody old hound. Oh, hi. Oh, crap. I just realized I fell in the trap. And we've got other stuff circling around us because there's no room in our inventory. Got a crate. Okay. It's the guy that killed me again. No, 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 no. He didn't even drop anything. What a jerk. Oh well, Blood Moon's over. So, uh, yeah, I've got stuff. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and sell off the arrows. That diving helmet, I guess I'll keep. Uh, yeah. Mummy pants. Did we kill a mummy? Must have. Alright, 17 black ink, though, and five purple mucus. That's not bad. Uh, let's just go ahead and sell that. Yeah, let's sell the fish off. Bunch of chum buckets, okay. Palladium, heart reach, and apprentice bait. I'm just gonna sell that. And we ended up with two pirate maps. Cool. So let's go make a deposit. Thirty shark fins. It's not bad though. Uh. Yeah, might as well. From Po' Boy, let's just go ahead and eat that. We still have a couple of sashimi left. 
And why not? Let's go ahead though and... Why is the dog down here? Ollie? Supposed to be up top. Pirates. Oh, there's even a captain already. Why did the captain make the werewolf sound when he died, though? My kite is just like in the middle of all of this with. So, okay. What happened up top that my. Top house apparently is not working. Because my tax collector is down here now, too. Dude, give me your money. Give me my money before, you know, you die. Oh, I have another Dutchman now. Oh, no, don't kill my cat. Oh, Chester died. I don't care about Chester, though. Oh, I died. Oh, I just dropped a platinum. Damn. I was eviscerated by a cannonball. All right. Can we please? Thank you. Hey, I get my money back. No, get away from Blaze, damn it. Did we get another Flying Dutchman? We did. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, I mean... Imagine if I had an arena, an actual arena, to fight these guys in. Oh. Dad came back right away. Now, where is my cat? Did my cat die? I hope not. No, the cat survived. Blaze, you little bastard. You're amazing. So, now to find out why... Why are you down here, too? Okay, what happened up top? They're all housed here. Well, I mean, Chester's not, because he's kind of dead. But, uh... Hopefully the steampunker moves in, actually. Kind of cool. But why are they all downstairs? Huh. I have no idea. Where did Haley just go? Oh, she's over there too. I just didn't see her. Okay. Oh yeah, she's blending into the tree. I just wanted to make sure she didn't like... Well, I would have got the message, but make sure she hadn't jumped in the lava or whatever. 
Hey, Steampunker did show up. Sweet. And she's up there where she belongs. And Gallius, the traveling merchant, has arrived. Cool. Uh, so we are going to definitely buy a Clintaminator. Um, I'm going to sell off... I'm going to keep that. Uh, Cutlass, I'm just going to sell. Uh, the gold furniture, I might as well keep, I think. The Dutchman. Hmm. Cool. First time I get in that one. Uh, let's see. Green solution. A little hazardous up here right now because... Steampunk minecart. Hmm. Item vacuum from miscellaneous. That's what I've been waiting on. And we have conveyor belts as well, which is great. There's a static hook. There's jetpack. And yeah, I might go. There's more stuff later on. Um, right. There's only one NPC up here, so yeah, things spawn. All right, but we have finally a contaminator, which is awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and eat that. That is oh, it's a minecart. Okay. Now, the more souls of flight, not too shabby. I can't even actually target them to be like, hey, go get that creature through the wall. I don't think right click with this works either. Right click works with the, the optic staff itself, though. All right, so well, we're down to just uh, Skeletron Prime now, the mechanical bosses. But uh, I think I need to. I'm gonna make an NPC hotel for all of the uh, boss NPCs because they don't seem to have a happiness trait, so they don't know how to be happy. But item vacuum. Now I need that, uh, this thing, the auto fisher. And you, my items will put some into a chest below it. Okay, so I need a chest. Uh, I think I've got, oh, I'll get a bamboo chest. That seems kind of fitting. And... You're going to need bait. Which, I've been keeping... I've been doing a lot of fishing quests. Now, where do I want to set this up at, though? Corruption, maybe? Well, I almost want to put a fishing area in the hallow, too. So I get hallow crates. Uh, yeah, let's go actually jungle, because I just remembered we can make life fruit with jungle crates. So if I can get this thing to start pulling up jungle crates for me, then that'll be a huge help. And actually, let's come over here. Gotta have block swap mode on. I usually keep that turned off. Do you not like platforms? That's your thing? Apparently, yeah. Place bait in adjacent chest. Okay. And then we're going to get an item vacuum here. 
I'm gonna go ahead and give you that stuff. Oh. Apparently it doesn't like the bamboo chest. Huh. Strange. Let me... Thank you. If you try putting it back into your inventory slot right after you teleport, it just triggers again for whatever reason. Yeah, let's try a regular plain Jane. No frills, you know. Best, right? That was actually in an airspace. That may have been the issue. Oh yeah, look, it automatically cast it out for me. Okay. Well then, let's go ahead and put another one down here. And it just got some bomb fish for me. Alright, cool. I'm put this here, and this one's going to have the item vacuum. Vacuum will pick up everything. Sounds great to me. And here, you can have those. Alright, cool. So, I'm just gonna let the thing run for a while now. Hey, we got a Neon Tetra right before I left. But, automatic fishing is a go now, which is great. And... Got a Contaminator. I need different solutions, though. But I'm pretty sure you make those out of the, uh... Out of the green one, right? Did I ever check out what galleys had? Nope. Hmm. Uh, let's try just looking up, like, say, blue. I know that's one. I'm thinking yeah, solution, right? But uh not showing up here. Guess I'm misremembering. Oh well. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode and until the next one. Sign signing out. Have fun. <laughs>